Hey everybody, Jim Palmer, the newsletter guru and your dream business coach. As always, I am committed to helping you build a more profitable business faster. You're coming to you today from my brand new remodeled office. And um, I won't spin the whole thing around, but just to show you, we got, um, oh man, my hardware, we got a new carpet down there, got a whole new desk and uh, nice credenza back there, got all my books framed up and there's a picture of my first uh, DBA conference. My daughter Jessica did that for me. So anyway, you know, on, um, on three times, three separate occasions this week while I'm coaching my uh, coaching clients, um, I was asked a question, something to do with criticism. They were receiving criticism from marketing or some of the, some of the different things they were doing. And I told them, you know, man, I've been through that. I continue to go through that. Everybody does. If you're not getting criticized, you're probably not doing enough in your business, all right? And um, <clears throat> so it got me thinking, you know, here I am. I got to shoot my uh, video for this week. And it made me reflect on an episode of News Letter Guru TV I remember doing. Now, this is how fast time is flying by. I'll probably stand still. You're probably getting dizzy. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> it turns out, so I shot a video called Immunity to Criticism. So I'm going to show you that right now. Now, and uh, funny thing is, this goes back to 2000, early 2011. So what would that be? That's like five years ago. I shot this an older episode, and uh, but the message is still strong. So watch this episode, and I will be right back. Hey everybody, it's Jim Palmer, the newsletter guru, coming to you from my new family room. Well, actually, you can probably see. We just insulation now. They got the walls insulated, the ceilings insulated. They've got all these beautiful windows overlooking our backyard, so we're really very excited. So it's kind of warm in here now, but it's nowhere near done. A couple days before Thanksgiving, a little short of the family feast, but it's very nice. We're really excited about our new space. I want to share with you today something that I think every entrepreneur needs to deal with. Every successful entrepreneur that I know has dealt with what I call immunity to criticism, okay? Not needing the approval and the neediness for acceptance by others, especially when it comes to the way they're operating their business or more importantly, the way they're marketing their business. I think this is really at the heart of what they call fear of failure or fear of success. It's worrying about what other people are gonna think of you. Whether if you, if you fail, my goodness, what are people gonna think if I fail? Or you become super successful. What are people going to think about when, I, when I'm successful and I, and I have money or whatever? There's, it's the fear of what other people think. And you need to not be so concerned with that. There, and look, everybody has an opinion. The opinions that really count are the opinions of your customers, the folks that are giving you money. Very often our peers, our friends, our family, business associates, people that we hang out with, they don't necessarily understand how you run your business. They may not understand how you decide to market your business. And so you may hear things like, well, what are you doing that for? Or, oh, that's kind of ugly. Or, oh, that's kind of, I'm not sure that's really working for you, Jim. And, and they actually really don't know. They're just forming their opinion. One of the tricks I want to um, share with you, well, maybe a trick is not the right word. Let's call it a, um, an action step that you can use is I want you to develop what I call an internal filter. So when you hear something that may be criticism, okay, or a negative opinion, or someone's in some way got your gut turning and your mind's all kind of getting screwed up because, oh no, they don't like what I'm doing, I want you to kind of put it through a two-step filter. The first step I want you to think about is does this person have expertise in the area in which they're giving me feedback on? You know what I mean? Could be you came up with an ad that may be kind of out there or it's kind of a direct response ad so there's a big flashy headline, maybe some kind of wild picture or an offer or maybe it's a long copy sales letter. Whatever it is, someone looks at it and thinks, ooh, Jim or you know whatever, that's not good. Well, first of all, do they have expertise in direct style marketing, direct response marketing? Maybe they don't. Maybe it's just their natural reaction and that's fine, which leads me to my second point. Is this a person that you trust and do you in fact value their opinion? Okay, so this filter, I want you to run any kind of negative thoughts that might get you off your success track. You run through a filter. Is this person an expert in the area in which they're giving me their feedback? And is this a person that I trust and I super value their opinion? If it's neither, then what it is, it's what I consider the rest of it, it's just needless noise. It's the stuff going on around you and everybody's got an opinion, right? I want to share with you uh, a real quick story about immunity to criticism. A few years ago, 
when I was started speaking, uh, as you probably know, I have my uh, caricature, my newsletter guru caricature, and I was getting ready to speak. I was literally about 30 to 60 seconds. I was on the side of the room, and um, the host of the event was getting ready to introduce me, and someone scurried up next to me and said, and up, by the way, up on the slide on the screen was my caricature with me, the picture of my book, and the host was getting ready to introduce me, and this guy says, Jim, I really find that cartoon of you quite disturbing. Now, I got to tell you, it was like, oh my gosh, I wonder how many other people find it disturbing. And I kind of like got all discombobulated real quick. Not anymore. You know, I've, I've learned to deal with the opinions of others as you put yourself out there. And now if that was to happen, I would simply say, you know what, I'm getting ready to go on stage here. Thank you very much for opinion. Okay. In other words, go sit down. <laughs> so you just want to take care on all of the opinions and all of the feedback and all of the possible criticisms that you may get. If it's working for you, if it's working for your business, if it's bringing more customers and you're growing, that's the only measure, okay, that you need to be aware of. So develop a thick skin, become immune to criticism, and keep growing your business. So the, so the message is powerful, man. You gotta just ignore that stuff. Water off a duck's back, as they say. So I think the message speaks for itself. I'm not gonna add a lot, but you gotta keep in action, keep doing things. And the more you do, the more you will likely be criticized, but it's okay, because the only people usually criticizing you are those who are not doing anything. So get out there and keep in action and just keep a level head and understand it's mostly just noise. I think that is it. All right, my name is Jim Palmer. I'm your dream business coach. As always, I am committed to helping you build a more profitable business faster. Until next week, another great episode of Newsletter Guru TV. Take good care.